Section 2.2 is alternate ways to earn money, alternative ways to earn money. So the first type of way, we looked at some of these last time was commission. And a commission is basically a percentage usually paid on uh, sales that you make. So if, you may, if you're a salesperson and you're selling something, you usually make a commission, so it's a percentage of those sales. A contract is usually a specific legal agreement about the conditions and pay for a job. So a contract job, like I said last time, was um, you'll get paid per job. So if you're doing this one job for somebody, you're making a web page. Um, it could take you two weeks. Um, here are the conditions. Here's a legal agreement. I will get paid this amount of money for this job, regardless of how long it takes. Piecework means that you're being paid an amount per item that you pro that you produce. So um, this is very important for factory people because they usually pay people um, a certain amount of money per item that they produce. So often contract and piecework jobs are completed by people who are self-employed. So if you're a self-employed person like my friend the web designer, then he will say, okay, I will design this website for you if you pay me this amount of money. Okay, let's look at an example here. So if you hire a fence company to install a chain link fence around your pool and the contract states the job will cost $2,125. So if the cost of labor and materials is $1,650, or $1 how much profit do you make? So how much profit would you make if you were doing the job for $2,125? Well, let's see here. $2,125, subtract off the $1,650 that it's actually costing you, and what are you left with? So $2,125 minus the $1,650, so $475 profit. So if this is your company um, that you are installing the chain link fence, you would make $475 profit. Now it says what percent of the contract was profit? So the, the, the contract cost a total of $21.25. Your profit was $475. So in order to find the percent, of profit what you want to do is you want to take your profit $475 and divide by the total which is 2125 so you have your profit divided by your total and this will tell you what percentage that is so I take my 475 divided by my 2125 so I'm making 22 percent profit 22.3 or 22.4 Not too bad. So $475 is 22% profit. So quite a, quite a decent profit margin. All right, next example. So you hire a, a tree spraying company to spray your fruit trees. It costs you $8 per tree, and spraying occurs five times a year, five times per year. So what does it cost for seven trees sprayed in a whole year? So you have seven trees. You're gonna have to multiply each uh, tree by the amount of money it costs per tree. So that's $56 per spring. Now remember there's five times a year that this needs to happen. So five times a year is gonna be $56 times my five, because it's happening five times a year. So 56 times by five, this is gonna be $280 every year that it's going to cost to spray these trees. You might think, well, that's not very much money that that company is making. However, they probably have several properties. I used to have a lawn mowing business with my friend, and we had probably about 20 or 30 customers that we uh, mowed their lawns. So we might have only been making maybe $20 per lawn, maybe 20 or 30 per lawn, but when you multiply that by 20, that's not too bad per week. So it does add up. Another question, why might you hire a company to do the spraying? Well, there's lots of things you could probably think of. I would think of one, probably the biggest one would be regulations. And regulations are put in place by the municipality. It could be in, in Kamloops where I live, we have the TNRD, which is the Thompson Nicola Regional um, District. And they put in, put in place very strict regulations that you have to follow. So if you hire a company, usually the company knows those regulations beforehand. Um, another big one that I would say is experience. If I'm gonna spray my own trees, I have zero experience. 
However, it might be good to do it yourself so that you can figure out, uh, you can gain experience. But it is nice sometimes to pay somebody that has the experience that can finish the job quicker. Um, you could probably think of much more, many more reasons, but those are those are two big ones that I would think of: regulations and experience, for sure. All right, a furniture salesperson earns a base salary of twenty-eight thousand dollars and plus twelve percent commission. That's a decent commission. So, how much would they earn a year if they sold fifteen thousand dollars worth of worth of furniture? So they're going to work for a year, and they're selling fifteen thousand dollars worth of furniture with a twelve percent commission. Okay, so let's see how much their commission is going to be. We already know their base salary. It's given to us at $28,000. So the commission is going to be $15,000 times they make 12%. Now, I think I did an example last time where I added the one. Yes, I did. Where I added the one to, to include the original amount. So I would actually multiply this by 1.12. But I don't want to do that this time because they only make 12%. They don't make... Um, 15,000 and then 12%, it's only 12% of their amount of uh, furniture that they sell. So 0 0.12 is the value that I multiplied by. So 15,000 times 0 0.0, sorry, 15,000 times 0.12 or 0 0.12 is $1,800. So they make $1,800 in the year, but now their total that they make or total, yeah, that they make per year is going to be their $28,000 that they make plus their $1,800 because they do make a commission. So I have my $1,800 plus my $28,000 is equal to $29,800. So that is their salary that they make plus their commission. How much furniture would you have to sell in order to earn $35,000 per year? This is a little bit of a dip more difficult type uh, question because I want to make, whoops, not me, I want to make $35,000 per year. Well, I know I'm already making $28,000 and plus I make 12%, which is 0 0.12 um, times my, the amount of furniture that I sell. We'll call it F or C. So it's a little bit of algebra um, where you have to try to solve for F or think about how much furniture do I have to sell? So 12% times what amount is going to be equal to $35,000, but I'm also already making 28,000. So I don't have to worry about the 28,000. I just want to figure out how much furniture I have to sell. So that'd be the first thing I have to do is to take the $35,000, my full wage, um, subtract or what I want to make subtract off my 28,000 because I'm already making that guaranteed that leaves me with seven thousand dollars you can think about it like that too so I need to make seven thousand um, dollars which means I have to sell an amount of furniture how do I have how do I figure out how much I have to sell I'm gonna have to divide by my 0 0.12 on both sides. So 0 0.12, you might recognize this from last year, grade nine math, 0 0.12. So I take my 7,000 divided by 0 0.12 and I figure out it's 58,333 and 33 cents. $58,333.33. I need to sell that amount of furniture. That's a lot of furniture. If you're working in a big furniture store where each piece is, I don't know, you could sell furniture that's like $5,000 per piece of furniture. So that may not be actually all that hard to sell that much in a year, depending on what kind of store you work in. This could be a very fancy store. Okay, so just be aware of different types of uh, different ways that you can earn money, commission, contract, or piecework, and how to solve for each one of these things. Um, you can always review the video if you want to go back and see how things are done.